let's talk about the half unseal B. This might be your freebie, right? If it is, watch carefully. One of the characteristics of the unseal alphabet is that the letters are quite short and squat. So using the traditional nib height, it's five nibs high, which makes it quite a dense or bold-faced letter. Now, the, the letter B is, if we're doing in order, is the first of our letters with either an ascender or a descender, and of course, it's an ascender. If the body of the letters are, are short and rather bold, the ascenders and descenders are even more squatty and bold. So it, it, unlike a, you know, a chancery that the ascender may go way up here, in, a, in, in half unseal, the ascenders are maybe two nibs taller. So the letter B is um, a bit of an unusual letter. Many of them are unusual, so hang <laughs> just retain that, would you? And we hold our pen at a number four angle, and if you know my system, that means all the way over, almost flat, maybe even a little bit flatter than a four. And we, st I'm going to start at the top of the ascender, and I'm going to come down and curve. This is a recurve, or what I call a, a shallow S-curve uh, line, stroke. Get that? Let me do that again. Very unusual. I don't think there, so far, there are no other, uh, any other calligraphy that, that uses that exact stroke. And then we finish these with a simple loop this way. There, I've done three. You're not only getting a 3B, you're getting three free Bs. <laughs> now, one of the most, one of the most chief characteristics of the half unseal alphabet calligraphy is this very heavy triangular serif. And the serif is essentially two nibs wide. And that means we come this way, there's one nib and there's two, and we pull it straight in like this and it creates, as you can see, this triangle. Got it? That is very characteristic. Again, there's, there's no other calligraphy that I know of besides half unsealed that has an, a, a serif like that. Even in, in my opinion, the unseal alphabet, the serif is not nearly that heavy. Let me do that letter again, this time with a marker. Again, so it's about this tall. Holding my pen at a number four or even flatter than a number four angle doing a recurve stroke and then finishing the loop this way, come back and do that serif. Now, I, let me do it again. I find it easier to do the serif last. It doesn't need to be done last, but I find it easier to have the whole letter done. And I think I'll be doing this in all the letters. Then come back, move the, the, your pen over one width, and then create that triangle. Got it? Let's do it again. Just to make sure you've got it with a dip pen. Did you see that splash? That's why we hold these things carefully. Got it? Let's go. And I can try it without any guidelines at all. A shallow S-curve or a recurve stroke, finish the loop, then come up here and do this heavy, short ascender. That's the letter B, your freebie. Thanks for watching.